1748. Oh, you're wearing the black today. Yeah, the black and white. I always like to have a different uniform to kind of confuse you a little yeah. bit. Let's go down, let's go over! Let's go! 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 Come on, let's go. 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 let Oh, this is all us. Yeah, I like this. All right, all us. us. The whole team. That's the whole team right here. Let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Stay with let's them. Let's go. Colby Ratsy. Let's go. Well, Nathan will be next, right? Uh, it's either Nathan or Logan. Good job, guys. Oh, sorry, I just don't want you getting in the view of the camera. Come on, Nathan, let's go, Nathan. Let's go, Mitchell, come on. Oh, there's Rafi. Come on, Connor, let's go. Come on, Tyler. Connor, let's go. Come on, Tyler. Let's go, Lucas, let's go. Come on, Tyler. Come on, Tyler. Let's go. Let's go, Texas. Where to go, Justin? Come on, Carter, come on! There we go, Noah. Come on, Noah. I said Tyler. Way to go, John Wood. You're running great. Go get him. Good job, John. Come on. Come on, Texas.
job, Tyler. We got it. We got it going. Okay, here we are. Our interview with Patrick Wills, the champion of today's Arrowhead Cross Country Invitational. Time of 15:02. Um, I can give you a little history on that. That uh, uh, Drew Bosley ran just under 15. That's the This is second fastest time ever run on this this meet. And um, we've had an awful lot of great runners on here in the past. Whoops. I'm, Sliding on here, Patrick. You want to give us a, a little rundown on this, on the race? Yeah, yeah. So the race uh, played out really well from the start. It was amazing getting to see all the teams out here. Um, from last year, we had the triangulars, and then coming in, we were able to have all 20 teams. So it's such an honor to race everyone. But the race, when it got out, I knew right away I wanted to get into my form. So we worked on uh, pumping, pumping arms back, focusing more on arm motion, and I really liked how the course. Um, they, they redesigned it a little, so we went through the wooded area twice. And for the first mile, my plan was just to be steady, be comfortable, and then to put in surges throughout every quarter. And then for the second mile, I knew I wanted to continue to like speed up so that I could maintain pace. Um, that looks that looks so awesome, and, and you look so strong throughout um, on there. What what were your splits? Did, were you able to see the, the the clocks as you went through, or not? Yeah, the, so the only clock I picked up on was the, the 3200. Oh, okay. And I saw like a, a 940, and I got really excited with that because I, I know my PR is 921 on a track. So when I saw the 940, I knew that if I could really fight out that last mile, I could run a pretty nice time. Well, and obviously you're going against uh, Owen Bosley, and, and you beat Owen, I think, by five seconds on here tonight. And, um, you know, I, I guess it was a clash of titans that, that we witnessed out here. It was just an awesome race to watch. Um, hey, congratulations on there. Um, looking forward to more and, and better stuff from you on here. And again, this is our meet champion, Patrick Wills, Waukesha North. 1502 and to my knowledge that is that is far and away the fastest time in the state well next to Owen Bosley five seconds those two times are far and away the fastest times in the state congratulations thank you coach okay here here we are the champs of today's Arrowhead Cross Country Invitational Homestead and not only are they champs they pretty much crushed it uh, on here um, why don't you go down, introduce yourselves and, uh, and what your times were and uh, any, any comments about the races. So go ahead, Kyle, you, we can start with you. Uh, I'm Kyle Kinnison, I'm a senior. I got 1557. Uh, it was a fast course. Uh, going in that back it was cool on the, the start when the sun was there. Uh, it was a fast course, a lot of good things. <laughs> My name is Colin Boyle. I ran 16.02 today and I'm a senior. And it was just great to see all of our hard work pay off. We've been working for the past four years. It was fun. I'm Dominic Sill. I'm a junior. I ran 15.50 today. I got fifth. Um, 
I think our hard work over the summer paid off and just training together as a team, being as a team as one, I think today helped us make the statement. My name is Owen Bosley, I'm a junior, and I ran 1507. And the main thing is not just running for myself, but running for these guys too. My name is Nathan Grunewald. Hours are five. I'm a senior. I ran 1706, and I lost my shoe at the one pen. Ooh, all right. Hey, hey. That's that's pretty badass stuff out there. <laughs> hey, um, second week in a row that, uh, or is this the third week actually that uh, you guys have, you know, have crushed it? I saw you last week in there. Um, you got to be feeling awfully good about about where things are. And um, as I'm seeing the rankings, um, Stevens Point. Up there, um, you guys, I'm sure are going to be keeping it, keeping a check on those guys. And uh, but um, I, I, I imagine small picture, big picture. You got uh, you got Janesville coming up. That'll be a biggie. Is that's your next competition, or yes. so, so you don't have a, another one a week from now? We yeah. All right. A good training phase in there for you. Okay. Well, I look, I look forward to maybe doing more interviews with you and. Uh, Hope to see you guys on top of the podium at the end of the year. Congrats. Thank you. Okay, here we are. This is Coach Brian Finnell of Middleton. Their team took second today. This is their third season with cross, spring cross country, uh, late spring, early summer track, and now, uh, now we're in the fall for cross country. Um, you seem to be managing it awfully well on there, and I, I suppose it's kind of uncharted territory, but any comments about how it's going? So far it's going really well, and honestly it was kind of nice having the spring season because the guys just knew the routine, knew the rhythm, and they kind of have the feel for the 5K a bit better now this time around, um, you know, especially for some of our JV guys. A 10-month gap between really running, if they don't do track, it's a long time, and um, they've handled it pretty well, um, despite maybe a shorter summer base with uh, track going so late. They've handled it well. Yeah, and um, you know, you were you were a virtual school, so last fall it wasn't even like the guys would just get together after after school and go out for the runs like they would probably in an off season. You didn't even have that going on. No, we didn't really have that option. The guys were virtual, and uh, the message was really not to have teams or groups gather. So um, for the most part, a lot of guys did it individually. We did have a couple guys who are close together and uh, they ran, but otherwise maybe two or three guys ran. Uh, together it was, it was pretty sparse. Um, it wasn't until about January that we got approval to finally use our contact days and have some upperclassmen take charge. Oh, that's cool. Well, hey, congrats. Uh, you've had for the last uh, dozen years or more since you've been there, you've had one of the top programs in the state, and uh, and you, and and you do a great job, Brian. Congratulations. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. Good.